Hi everyone, and I have a couple of requests uh, to show our recent uh, WooCommerce to chat fuel to Dialogflow integration. So I decided to make this short video to explain how we do this. You can see here our small shop. This is a test shop from WooCommerce that we are using to test this integration. And first, let's see how it works in the chatbot itself. Here is uh, our test chatbot that is connected to our test page and when I press get started here I receive uh, the usual greeting from the chatbot. I can use some like hi, hello or anything like this. All this is connected uh, to Dialogflow intents uh, and then back to chatfuel blocks with our integrator service. If I want uh, to check uh, the goods uh, in my shop I can type something like show Categories. It can be any phrase that you like, uh, you'll see how to change this later. And voila, here I have the list of categories in my online shop that is uh, imported directly from WooCommerce. If I click list products on any of these categories, I can see another carousel that lists products in this category. If I press list products in any other category, like for example hoodies or t-shirts or anything like that, I get products from this category showed in a carousel again. Now this carousel contains not categories but the uh, go uh, goods itself. So if I click on details for any custom item, I can see the name of this item, the price of this item, picture showing this item and uh, some Lauren Ipsum description from uh, WooCommerce and two buttons order now or visit website. If I am visiting website I am going direct to my WooCommerce shop and, and if I press order now I get order confirmation from my chatbot. You could think that uh, this chatbot uh, can look uh, pretty complex in ChatFuel, but actually not, since we are doing all the heavy lifting for you. If I go to my ChatFuel dashboard now and uh, see this bot from the inside, you can see that uh, it's a very simple structure with only a couple of blocks and most of the blocks are uh, not related to our WooCommerce shop. The only block that is related to WooCommerce shop is buy block that is sending this order confirmation event. How do we handle these uh, carousels and categories and products? Um, this is done completely within Dialogflow. If I go to my Dialogflow agent now, I can see that there are three intents that we created for you. It's Woo category, Woo product and Woo product buy. Each of these intents can contain any phrase that you would like to your bot to react to, like go shopping, what do you sell, do you have any accessories for sale, do you have guitars, show categories, uh, show certain category by entity name and so on and so forth. And if I check Woo product intent, it also have some typical phrases like show products or do you have uh, some certain product uh, or show me a certain product by entity and so on. And we also add two entities for you, that's category and product. Category is a generic uh, entity that contains all your um, categories from your WooCommerce shop. It's imported automatically through API. And product entity is again filled in for you with all your product slugs from uh, WooCommerce and you can edit it and change it in any way that you like. For example, that you would like some certain phrase to show for example, like do you have hoodie or do you have t-shirt or do you have t-shirt of certain size and so on and so forth. And the only intent that is connected to chat fuel is woo product buy. And uh, this is a simple uh, intent that is uh, tracked when I type buy something. Let me show you again how it works in the chatbot. If I type buy polo or I can change the phrase to order polo or can I have polo please and so on and so forth. Then this uh, intent is triggered and I'm getting to my chat fuel block, which is buy. And here I have a couple of attributes. I can use Woo product title, Woo product price. Let's see what else we have. 
wu category slack wu product description wu product short description and wu product slack and product title all these uh, uh, chat fuel attributes are automatically filled in with uh, values uh, from your woocommerce shop through api To use this in your chatbot, uh, we will be using this uh, i.activechat.ai service that we call Integrator. When I'm signing up here, I can follow my usual procedure to add uh, a bot and add an agent in Dialogflow. Uh, I have another manual for this. Uh, you can find it on the landing page for Integrator service. And uh, here, I can connect my WooCommerce shop. Let me disconnect it for a moment. And now to connect my WooCommerce shop, I should uh, press connect button and enter my store URL. And consumer key and consumer secret. To get these uh, values, I'm going to my WordPress admin panel for WooCommerce settings. API and keys or apps and here I can create another key let's call it integrator test 2 assign it to a user that has admin rights and um, set the permissions to read only we do not need uh, any uh, right permissions for now since we are not uh, changing orders or changing products or doing anything like this. We plan to do this in the future, but currently we need only reading permissions from your WooCommerce shop. When I press generate API key, I have these values consumer key and consumer secret and I can copy this and paste it here in consumer key and copy that and paste it here in consumer secret. I press submit. And some magic happens now. We connect to your Dialogflow agent and we connect uh, to uh, your uh, WooCommerce store through API and we create some uh, entities and intents for you. If I go back to my Dialogflow agent now and refresh my intents, I can see that these th three intents were created, Woo category, Woo product and Woo product by. My advice to you is to go into each of these intents and press save here. For some strange reason, Dialogflow doesn't behave correctly from the first uh, time when you create this. So I'm saving these intents and Woo product by also. And now we are ready to go. If you want to edit your entities, you could change the phrases that trigger these intents here in category or product. We pre-populated with uh, some phrases for you. And you can change, for example, clothing. It should be uh, clothing and you can add other synonyms like clothes, like anything else that you would like to. And in intents, you can also change phrases that trigger these intents, like for example, Woo category is pre-populated with show categories and you can add here phrases like Do you have anything to sell? What's in your shop? And so on and so forth. Any phrase that you would like to trigger your online shop. Press save. And now you can go back to your bot and see how it works. What's in your shop? It takes a couple of minutes for Dialogflow to learn these intents. You can test this now here. What's in your shop? Yeah, now it's working correctly. It shows category. And if I try this again, now I can see my categories listed here. One more time, if I press list products, I get the list of products in this category. We are working on filtering and sorting uh, these products yet. If I choose any other category, I can also type list products.
and get another carousel and I can use these entities names for example like category guitars, decor, clothing, accessories or any other categories that you have in your WooCommerce shop to trigger my intents. To add other phrases to categories I can use show accessories and then double click accessories and tell that this is category entity kind. If I press save and wait for a couple of minutes uh, for Dialogflow to learn this intent. Now I can use it in my Dialogflow agent and in my chatbot to show certain categories. If I type show accessories Let's wait for a moment until Dialogflow learns this. And when I tap this once again, I have this list of uh, products in accessories category. If you would like to use this in your own chatbot, please uh, remember that uh, you have uh, these intents here and uh, you have these um, chat fuel user attributes that you can use. Wu product title, Wu product price. Wu category slug, Wu product description, Wu product short description, and Wu product slug. We are sending product and category slugs back, back and forth uh, between Dialogflow and uh, Chat Fuel so that you can use it in the, your own chatbots. I'll be posting more videos with use cases and examples of how you can use this to build your online store and get more customers and uh, drive more sales with your chatbot for your WooCommerce store. Please feel free to use this service as is, we provide it uh, for free for members of ChatFuel community and it's still in uh, pre-beta testing mode, so I would highly appreciate any feedback and uh, any reviews and maybe ideas on how we can develop this. Stay tuned to our active chat community and have a good day, see you, bye bye.